The best business decision I ever made was hiring interns. But I get that it can be hard to find someone who wants to put in the work. So I'm gonna walk you through how to find the best interns. Yes. Hey, I'm Sarah Petty. I'm a photographer and founder of one of the most profitable photography studios in the United States. And it's my passion to help other photographers grow their portrait photography businesses where you can have a family and a thriving photography business. You shouldn't have to pick. Here's what's interesting. I now have two companies. I have Sarah Petty Photography and I have Joy of Marketing. And both of these companies are run by people who came into my life on a one day job shadow sort of internship program. One was like 17 years ago and one was almost 30 years ago and they never left my life. And I'll share that story with you, but I want you to see that you don't have to wait till you have a big business with all the resources you need to be able to hire fabulous interns. You can grab them along the way in your journey and they can change your business. Over the years, I've had several interns. Even early on in my career, I just loved the energy of being around people younger than me. So I remember being, gosh, I might've been 24, 25 years old when I was the marketing director at an ad agency. And whenever these young people, high school or college age, would write a letter asking to do a job shadow day, they would give them to me. I don't know, I must have told them I like to do that, but I would just have them all come in because I was always looking for what they could learn. I know people did that for me, mentored me along the way, and so I just really had a passion to give back. And it was interesting, as I started bringing them in, I saw some, who were kind of unmotivated, didn't really care. They were just trying to check a box for the grade. And then I met others who were like excited and added value and had great ideas and great conversation. And they ended up working out and sticking around. Erin came in for a one day job shadow day. And just like any other normal student, she came in and followed us around. And about two weeks later wrote this paper that she sent to the owners of the agency. And they came to me and they said, how did she do that? That's our entire business model. And she was here for a day. We need to hire her. So she came on as an intern. And then over the years, she ended up replacing me when I had my twins and started my photography business. And we had always said, we need to do something together. We need to work together. We knew we were super compatible. And when Joy Marketing got off the ground, I reached out, I said, all right, it's time for us to, to scale this and to do this and grow this business. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, it's time for us to grow this business. There's super big need to serve photographers and teach them how to do what I've done in my photography business. And she was right there. And Andrea was a college senior and wrote a letter asking for a job shadow day. And she came in just as a, an art major. She was a photography major. So she was a photography major, came in for the day over her spring break. I had another photographer working for me. We were going to St. Louis about two hours away to dig through a, an old warehouse where they had deconstructed homes and they had all these architectural salvage details and we bought old doors and columns and all these things and we're like hey you want to go we loved her hung out with her and she literally has worked for me ever since <laughs> so now she's a studio manager she coaches at joy marketing to help other photographers do what we do all from that one day and so i think for me it's just always been in my nature to mentor younger people even when i was very young but over the years, I, I try to always say yes. University of Illinois is an hour and a half from, from me. They ask if they can send their younger business students over for a day, sort of a job shadow. And as much as I can, I try to do that. But every now and then, as I'm meeting with these students, I see somebody who's special. Often you can tell that in a day, I mentor students in a business program that they're high school seniors, and I have conversations with them. And again, every now and then, there's just that special human that I recognize that I can see they have some something extra about them. And I offer them an internship. And for the most part, I've had very excellent interns because you look for two things. You look for a core value fit, right? Somebody who's excited and energized and can bring in some value. I know that they don't have a degree from college and they haven't worked for years and years, but they have something 
extra. They have ideas. They have energy. They're willing to do anything. Typically, a job shadow day is where they just come in for a day. It's not paid. They're learning, right? That's how they're getting paid is by learning. And there are internship programs that are shorter term where they're doing it for college credit because there has to be some exchange. If you're not paying them, they need to be doing it to learn. And you want to talk with any colleges or whatever teacher has that type of program. But my philosophy is I want someone that's doing something worth paying even if they're entry level and even if I have to spend time training them, I want them doing something. And what's kind of interesting in this day and age with social media and the skills that these younger people have that we didn't have at that age because we didn't grow up with a camera in our pocket, we didn't grow up with social media, they're able to add more value than they've ever had before. And people always are amazed at the high quality of young people that I have working with me and they're always like, where'd you find that person? Where'd you find that person? I'm like, well, I just pay attention. Um, but also I've tested some that didn't work out as well and one specifically and there haven't been many but you can tell it usually in a job shadow day I would tell people to come in in shadow for a day but we had this student come in and this must have been 18 20 years ago and we were busy we were busy setting up a something and we said hey go online the internet was brand new keep in mind and we said we have a maternity session coming up can you go online and just get some pose ideas right we thought oh it'll be a good little exercise keep her busy for for 20 minutes and while we finished up what we were doing before our session I looked over and she was just sitting there and I said is everything okay and she had literally one piece of paper with two maternity photos on it and she said that's all there was and so she was just sitting there and I thought oh my gosh there's no tenacity there there's no energy there there's no curiosity of what else can I find and again it was early in the days of the internet but it started to show me the type of intern I wanted. I wanted someone that I could give a little direction to and they would come back with, oh, I found this idea and that idea. I went to a catalog, maybe Sears catalog back then or something online and I found these cool poses. It didn't just have to be another photographer's website. And so I really learned what I liked in young people and that they were coachable and that they would learn and that they, they were curious all the time. So my best advice for finding those really great interns is to keep your radar up. Just be listening all the time. I was mentoring these CEO students and we had an event at our studio. We built this building so that we could mentor young people and give back to our community. And they were all standing around and they had to start a business and, and do all these things for their own business as high school seniors. And it was toward the end of the semester. And this one girl was on her phone showing her friend all these apps and plugins that went with Instagram. And you have to do this and you have to do that. And she was so excited about it. And I said, why didn't you do your business on that? And she said, oh, no one would hire me. And I was like, oh, I'll hire you. And so we started just with one project. And I said, hey, let me give you a little project and see how it goes. And I think she worked for us for five years. She worked part-time in the summer and then she took the job off to college and she came back and she took it off to college again, working full-time on summers and breaks. And we would give her things that she could do. And literally we would have hired her we actually tried to sway her from going back she went to get advanced education she had a specific field she was going into but we we're like seriously this is your calling you should work with us and she's gonna be amazing in life and we keep in touch and I told her you're gonna be amazing and you're gonna give back to young people as you build your career but stay in touch with us and then we have a newer intern who is amazing and I, I found her as like a 14 year old I saw her doing these makeup tutorials at Halloween for these other kids I saw her on social media I was like, what a creative kid. And she was on the volleyball team with my daughter. And I said, next year at Halloween, could we do something together at my studio where you do makeup and we'll get the news to come in and do an, a story, which we did. And a couple news stations came in and I just loved working with her. And I was like, hey, would you want to work with us and do a few little one-off jobs? Like she came in and did some filming and this and that. And it was so cute because her mom had a driver because she didn't have a driver's license yet. And it grew and it grew and she worked all through high school. Now she's leaving us to go to college, but she 
she's taking some editing and some different things with her, but I hope she's in my life for many, 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 many years. Just a fantastic human because I was just paying attention and I was curious and I gave her a little project and it wasn't about the money. I wasn't like, oh, how can I get some work done for free? I mean, we don't pay a lot to our interns and I tell them that right up front, right? Sure, you could go get a fast food job, maybe make more or make the same, but look at what you're learning, right? To be able to work for someone who's pouring into them and teaching them and growing their skills, like that's worth working for free. But we do pay, we wanna pay, and I hope that you consider working with some interns. If you're a high school senior photographer and you come across a student who's just so fun to work with, who brings you ideas and was super fun to work with, maybe you say, hey, could we trade out some photos for you assisting me in a couple upcoming sessions and see how it goes to work with that person? Maybe they could come in and start doing some social media and doing some light editing and just tidying up and getting ready for your session. Whether you have a studio or not, it doesn't matter. So really be keeping your eyes open for those people that just can be part-time people that can make your life so much better. I think that's what's great about an intern is you're not making the decision to hire someone for the next 10 years. You just give them a little project and see how they do. And do you like to be around them? Do they get back to you? Do they do what they say they're going to do? And it's so funny because almost every single person on my team started that way. They came into the company just to help us out with a project and then another project and another project. And all of a sudden they've worked themselves into a full-time job because they were culturally a good fit. They had good attitudes. They were willing to learn and do what they needed to do. And they just fit like a glove. And, and occasionally it doesn't work out. And sometimes when, like with the, the one who went off to grad school or they do work out and then they leave for a life situation, that's okay. The one that we had for those four or five years, she built her job up to a position where we were saying, oh my gosh, now we can hire a person. Now that we know that job is there, she sort of built that job, which was a huge favor to us. So if you go into it with fear of like, oh, they're gonna leave me one day, sometimes that's okay because they got you to the next person and that's what you need to do to grow in business. So if you take care of really good people and you give opportunities to young people, you never know what can happen in your world. And quite frankly, as portrait photographers, I love having young people around me because what was in style when I was in high school isn't necessarily what's still in style. Not that people aren't still wearing mullets and not that mullets aren't coming back because they are, but for the most part, I like that fresh energy. I like the ideas. I like to be able to ask them, hey, do you use Twitter? Do you use Snapchat or Instagram? As all these new things are coming in and I can really learn what's cool, what's not, what dorky things to say. I mean, my kids do kind of keep me updated on that, but it helps me stay in touch with our target audience and the young moms who are having kids aren't that much older, you know, than these students that, uh, that I've had. So I just, I really love that about having interns. I, I'm hoping you can tell how passionate I am because they add so much value to my life and I just really, really treasure being able to mentor these young people and have that fresh young spirit coming in and bringing ideas and being excited to come in when we're here working hard every day. It just, it just uplifts everybody, I believe. And hey, look, if, the, if you're like, Sarah, I never would have even thought about an intern. I happened upon this video and that is such a crazy, amazing idea. I think the key to business is figuring out what you don't know you don't know Oh, because you haven't had every experience out there, which is why we created our free Facebook group. I'm gonna put the link in the description, but come and hang out in a community where you're able to learn all of these things that you hadn't even thought about that can help you grow your business without having a giant studio and a giant staff. You start small, you get an intern or two, and they grow with you, which is pretty cool. And again, while you can get some free little job shadow day help, for me, I want you to consider a paid internship program. And you can start it with a small project to just really see if they're a good cultural fit and skill fit for you, but then consider paying. And again, it could be four to six hours a week. It doesn't have to be massive. We've had interns take a box of tissue paper and you can Google this, but you twist them all up and you make those puffy flowers and she pinned them all over on our backdrop and we photographed high school seniors on it. It was such a fun backdrop and it was a project that I 
I wouldn't have taken the time to do, but she had the patience to sit there and she played with it until it looked just right. We had another one who painted a custom door. She was an art major in college and she painted this door that we photographed on for years. Like I said about Sammy, her little extra gift is the makeup and she did this horror makeup for Halloween. So we did like high fashion horror for a couple of our really good clients and it was so much fun. Landed us on the news, we got features that ran over and over again, which establishes value for my business. It makes me worth more. Got people talking about us and for me, we had so much fun working with this young human that I was like, I need more of her in my life. She's got so much energy and so don't be afraid to pay people, all right? It's fine, it will come back to you, I promise. And if you start with a little project, if it's just not a groove, that's okay. You gave them some good help and they probably gave you some help and you can move on. The most important trait I look for in my interns is that they have thick skin, right? We tell them that right up front, we move fast, we go fast, and you've gotta be able to take feedback. And that's a great lesson for them in life, right? I don't want them crying in the corner if they built this whole wall of tissue and we're not grooving with it and it's not gonna work for our clients or they paint the door and we don't love it. They have to be able to take feedback. And I think with the interns we've had, they were so good at that, that that was one of the selling points of like, we don't want them to leave because we can just tell them anything, right? And also their willingness to do anything. Can you go fill my car up with gas because we have a session coming and we don't have time? Of course, I would do it if I had a minute, but I want somebody who's willing to do whatever they can to be a part of this. And who knows, some days I have to do some of those jobs, but it's just nice to have someone who will do whatever because the person who's willing to do whatever is gonna do whatever themselves into some really cool opportunities. So if you've got a person who sees that, they're fine doing some of the other things because they're getting to do so many cool things. Whether it's assisting on a session or getting to learn Photoshop or some retouching and editing skills that are gonna serve them their whole life, that is really cool and that's valuable to you as a portrait photographer. And seriously, by hiring and, and mentoring these young interns, I have built my entire business and it's helped me find the best long-term employees who stay with my companies and grow with me. And I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever hired an intern? Are you saying yes, but? Let me know your questions and I'll answer for you. All right, see you soon.